high-profile convictions had been done. You can remember uh, Jolie Yam is convicted. You can remember Joshua Dari is convicted. You can remember uh, uh, this this chap from um, from Kano State has been convicted. So there are there are a couple of high-profile convictions, but more needs to be done. So. Uh, I will tell you that convictions are extremely difficult under civilian governments mm. because there are there are a lot of bottlenecks. Okay, you know, there's the a follow-up to that that I would like to, you know, take you on just before we drop the issue of corruption fighting back. It's almost becoming like a cliche now uh, when we say corruption is fighting back and that the judiciary is a problem. Who is supposed to be? Uh, responsible for that, and who is supposed to make sure that the courts work effectively? All the courts, you know, the courts they have, um, if you take the judiciary, you will divide it into two, you have the bar and the bench. You know? Now the bar is supposed to be professional and ethical. In other words, the training you got from law school should tell you that this is how you should walk while in the field. Then, as a practicing lawyer, you should be controlled by your professional organization like NBE. But unfortunately, in the case of Nigeria, it is individuals that control the Nigeria Bar Association, not the Bar Association controlling its members. Because lawyers are too powerful in Nigeria, so they model up even their own organizations. I can tell you that our anti-corruption agencies, especially EFCC, ICPC, Code of Conduct Bureau, NFIU, are making a lot of progress in the fight against corruption. And if you want to get the details, as time goes by, I can give you some details regarding what they have been doing. As a committee, we have helped execute quite a number of policies that will help in the fight against corruption. So to go to your question, you see, Nigerians are more concerned about high-profile convictions, not minding the fact that in the country we pretend to have a democracy. Therefore, under democracy, you have to do whatever you want to do through what is called the due process. Due process will require you going to the courts, and the courts are part of the problem, will require you getting the understanding of lawyers. Lawyers are a big problem. The high-profile individuals have a lot of money, and they are fighting the system. So is corruption fighting back? Yes.